active volcanoes. Enjoy. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Here's the whole story, man. They're big, they're blue, they're stars, they're far away, and the two are becoming one, which is fascinating. Newsflash. The Milky Way galaxy just got a little weirder. In the immortal words of Carl Sagan, we are star stuff. Job 9, 9, who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south. So we're perfectly safe here on Earth. What he meant is the key elements of life were forged in the hearts of stars. Astronomers estimate that more than half of the stars in the galaxy have companions. There are double, triple, and even quadruple star systems. There are dwarf stars, giant stars, dead stars, exploding stars, binary stars, a star with spiral arms. Twin monster stars are merging, astronomers report, in a confirmation of a long-held theory on how supermassive stars are born. Wait, what? That's rebirth, man. Or marriage, because if you're already alive and you form with another living being, that's not being born. Um, so I don't know how a star merges with another star and be considered to be born. Maybe I'm semantically nitpicking at the ticky-tack, wick-wack words. Sometimes science isn't as good with their vocabulary as they are with their calculator. A Spanish astronomy team reports that the eclipsing binary star system, known as my Camelopardalis, my cam, for those too insecure to even try to pronounce Camelopardalis. In the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics from Earth, the system's two gigantic stars appear to eclipse one another almost every day as they circle on a very tight orbit. Bleh. One subject I find fascinating is the star main sequencing. Sequence? The star main sequence. It's basically the conception, birth, life, and death of stars. And the life includes, you know, being a baby, being a child, being a teenager, being an adult, middle-aged, midlife crisis, old age, and final days. And I'd like to be there when the sun goes through its midlife crisis, buys a Corvette, travels and parties a lot. That sounds fun, man. You know, I'm all about having fun, man. Okay, so main point is, it's a favorite subject of mine, the main star sequence. And nobody really watches when I do videos on them. So I just wanted to note for my own Thor News collection, this story where two large giant stars, two large giant blue stars, Silver blue stars are my favorite, are converging, getting married. The two become one in one of uh, our favorite hot topic galaxies. I'm sorry, not galaxy. Star system, Camelopardalis. Camel, E-O, Pardalis. Pardalese, man, right? Okay, so, so that's neato, right? Okay, here's the whole story, man. They're big, they're blue, they're stars, they're far away, and the two are becoming one which is fascinating because we basically had three deaths or transformations of a star that we know of. Not counting the like littler to bigger, bigger to littler and color change. We have three star endings, shall we say. We have getting eaten by a black hole, where it's kind of like the trash can of the universe. Only garbage can escape from the trash can. Asterisk. I'm asterisking you, baby. Whoa, no, that doesn't sound good. I'm asterisking you, baby. Baby, 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 I need your love. Okay, so we have star going in a black hole. We have supernova. Now, I believe there's like three and a half types of supernova. They're very simple. It's type A, type 2, wait, type 1, type 2, type 3, and there's like 1A, 1, 2A, whatever. Man, stars explode. And the third one, the least talked about one, is when stars merge. And about a year ago, I did a story on when neutron stars and red giants converge, called the Thigothor Sorpe star. And I'll look back and probably cut some of that footage into here. They found a new star. It's two stars in one. It's twice the light and energy and twice of the fun. It's a TZO. It's Tazio. 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 Yeah, it's got like a super red giant and a neutron star. It's like a shampoo and a conditioner. That's impossible. What has never been spotted for sure in the wild jungle of strange stellar objects out there. 
But astronomers now think they have finally found a theoretical cosmic curiosity. Yep, you guessed it. If you guessed a Thorn Zack Tau object, Tzio! Tzio! Hiding in the neighboring small mage Lanik cloud. Neutron stars are what happen to regular stars when regular stars eat spinach. They then turn into a smaller superstar made out of like a vibrating hypersilicate metal that sings awesome. Then when he gets bored, just turns back into a, a regular star or a giant star. I made half that up just now. But it could be true. Who knows, you know? And this is a special star. You get the most for your money out of this one because it's two for one deal. You get two stars for one. Wait, what kind of money do stars take? Do they take denier, dollars, renminbi, euros, marks, bitcoin, world of warcraft, gold? Uh, where, yeah, you had a red giant, which is like a blue giant, except for, can you guess the difference? One is red, one is blue. So you have two blue giants merging. That's neat. So neutron stars can be attracted to each other and get married. Neutron stars and red giant stars can be attracted to each other and get married. And blue giants can be attracted to each other and get married. And for the people who's like, this is all lies and bullshit, what does it matter, man? Well, it's all a perfect analogy and metaphor for everything that's going on in our world. All the things that you know, feel, touch, smell, that are real to you. This is all an analogy metaphor, man, for life. The consolidation of all things. The fusion and fission before the Big Bang transition. Cocoon to caterpillar, baby. That's what the main star sequence is. Did you like cocoons and butterflies, caterpillars when you were a kid? Bet you did. I did. Butterflies, beautiful and amazing. Caterpillars are pretty cool too. So, you know, that's all this is. The main star sequence, to me, has some of the most poetry in all of astronomy and celestial physics. And it gives me the most wiggle room to bust out my best dance floor moves because the more science doesn't understand, the more it tends to over-explain it. And we don't really know shit about star formation or creation. And you can get a hundred scientists to line up. Say, yes, we do. And I'll say, okay, present it to the people like a jury. Without math, we want diagrams. We want videos. We want examples. You know? That sounds dangerous to say. Maybe I shouldn't add that. Okay, great. I'm glad this is a short video. Okay, I got a brilliant question. Stars are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly. Come out of the Magellanic clouds. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Things are rolling and you're down when you're strange. Neutron stars come out of the rain when you're strange. Hit the button, baby. Apparently.